lady, this is Allison Price with The Infused Life here with another DIY Wednesday for you. I teach you how to protect the place and the people that matter most. And if you are looking for a homemade gift giving idea for the man in your life that maybe is a little bit hard to gift give for or for any man on your gift list this year that has facial hair, hair today I'm showing you how to make your own handmade non-toxic beard oil. So you are in the right spot. I've helped hundreds of people learn how to safely, quickly, and effectively make their own non-toxic personal hygiene and cleaning products. So today, let's dive into the DIY beard oil. Now, if you are an avid essential oil user and you have empty bottles, you can repurpose those bottles for something like this. It works perfectly. But the, if you are doing gift giving and you wanna kind of spice it up a little bit, there are super cute bottles that I've linked up to in the comments um, in the description of this video. And I ordered those for my gift giving purposes, so you might wanna check that out as well. So what you are going to need is a carrier oil and some essential oils. That's it. So my carrier oil of choice is fractionated coconut oil. It's just an amazing all-purpose oil. It doesn't leave you looking greasy or feeling greasy, and it's very moisturizing to the skin. Another good one that I like to add in, and you can mix and you can do both of them, half and half of each, um, is jojoba oil, J-O-J-O-B-A. It's pronounced jojoba. And that one works really good too. So for my husband specifically, those two work really well. Depending on the skin type of the person you're gift giving to, you may want to switch it up a little bit, but in general, fractionated coconut oil is a perfect go-to all-purpose that really you can't go wrong with for anybody. And then I also like to add in a little bit of vitamin E oil, very nourishing to the skin, really good for dry skin as well. So I add in a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil, and then you're going to add in your essential oils. Now I've already added my two carrier oils prior to starting the video for sake of not making a mess. But now I wanna show you, so I'm going to add in five drops of each of the following essential oils, and they all serve a purpose. There are other essential oils that you can use. Um, it doesn't have to be limited to this one, these four, um, but these are the four that I pick. So the first one is my absolute favorite, which is patchouli. And with patchouli, there's it's really good for the skin, for the hair. Um, it's very cleansing. It helps support healthy skin, supports healthy looking hair. And there are some studies that suggest that it may keep hair and skin smelling fresh. So when I say patchouli, oh, I love it. When I say, I'm putting on some for myself. When I say patchouli, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, they're thinking of that incense aroma from the 70s, but a true pure patchouli oil is very earthy, very musky, very manly. And I know for my husband personally, it's hunting season. So he does not want to go out in the woods smelling like some synthetic plug-in, you know, spitting something out of the wall that we're using to scent our home with, which for the record, we don't use that to scent our home. I'm just speaking in general terms. Um, so this is a very manly scent and it's approved by my husband who goes deer hunting and doesn't want to be scaring the deer, deer away with his scents. So the next one is cedarwood and cedarwood has a very high concentration of cedarol. And so this may help keep the skin looking healthy, keeps the hair looking healthy. There are also some studies on hair growth that show promising results when cedarwood is involved. Also really good for promoting um, more healthy skin when there's drying conditions going on. So that's cedarwood. And then the next one is tea tree, which is melaleuca. They're interchangeable. Melaleuca is tea tree. Tea tree is like the street name for melaleuca. And so for tea tree, um, really good also on the skin for any kind of blemishes. One of the very best essential oils to use for hair and for skin. I keep losing track of my drops as I'm counting. So that's tea tree oil. And then lastly is sandalwood, which just one of my ultimate favorites, patchouli and sandalwood. So there's human clinical research going on that actually shows that sandalwood may reduce the appearance of blemishes and supports overall skin and hair health. So 
how can you go wrong with these four, right? So 20 drops total, I divide it up by five drops of each, and then you just wanna swirl it around to get it mixed in with the carrier oils, and that's it, voila. So I put a dropper cap on my bottle, and then all you're gonna do, all the person's gonna do that's using this, is they're going to put a few drops in their palm, they're gonna rub their palms together, and then they are just going to nourish the facial hair, whether it's the beard, goatee, mustache, whatever it, is, whatever it is. And quite honestly, ladies, we can do this for ourselves too with our own hair. So that is my DIY for this week. Add it to your handmade, homemade gift giving guide this year. If you have not yet received my top five DIY recipes, you can grab those at bit.ly forward slash top, the number five, and then capital D, capital I, capital Y. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that. Get notifications for when I go live so you don't miss any of my great tips and videos. And I will see you again here next Wednesday. Have a good one.